Hello guys. Right, so as you can tell by the title, today I am doing a how I organise my fridge video. Now I never in my life thought I would be doing a video on how I organise my fridge, but I have been asked by quite a few people if I can do a video like this. So I thought as I'm doing Vlogtober, I will do this as one of my videos. So I have just done a really big shop and also I was just sort of clearing out my fridge and I thought I'm gonna make a video out of this. So it's actually made me get everything out of my fridge, give my fridge a really good clean and I actually feel quite cleansed after doing that. I know that sounds really, really strange but we're the kind of people who will have leftovers, we'll put them in the fridge and then we never eat them, which is really wasteful, I know. But they'll just sit there for ages and we'll forget about them. So I just cleared everything out. It was pretty gross, <laughs> but I did it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys um, my kind of before fridge and then my take everything out. And now I'm gonna show you where I have put everything and how I organize my fridge, basically. So we have got a fridge, it is a, 70 30 fridge so 70 percent of it is um a fridge 30 percent is a freezer i'm not going to show you the freezer part because obviously that's quite kind of like quite self-explanatory and also it's a mess i didn't i didn't really want to go through that today so i'm just doing my fridge so i will show you what um it looked like before and i'll go through the cleaning process and then i'm going to do a little tour of it at the end Right guys, so here is my fridge before I start my organization. As you can see, there's no kind of rhyme or reason to it. Everything is just kind of just shoved in there. So firstly, I just took everything out of the fridge. I then got rid of all of the out of date items that needed to be thrown in the bin and gave the fridge and all of the shelves and everything like that a really, really good clean. I know this is really bad, but I actually can't remember the last time I did this. So there was actually quite a lot of grossness in my fridge. Sorry guys. Once I'd given all the shelves and drawers a good clean, I then put them back in and started repacking my fridge, but in a much more organized way. Right guys, so here is the end result of my fridge. I'm, like I said, I'm actually really pleased with it because I have cleaned it really well and I feel like I've got rid of loads of revoltingness that was in there. You know how you just get little bits of stuff that's like a bit of cheese has fallen out and it's just quite gross. The fridge is actually quite gross. So I'm actually really glad that people asked me to do this video because it's made me be less lazy. So Chris would be so pleased when he comes home from work today. So anyway, this is my fridge. So on the top shelf, you will see I have just got all of our alcohol, all our beer, all our wine. The reason it's on the top shelf is because Chris is basically a teetotal, so which means I don't drink very much, apart from at weekends when we have like friends over. So it's kind of the furthest to reach place because it's the least used. Then on the second shelf down, I have just put like some pizzas and some things that we're gonna be eating quite soon. Everything obviously in the fridge is what we will be eating quite soon, but this is just how I organize it. On the next shelf, I have got all of our dairy products. So I just like put it all here, and then once we open a milk, I will then move it into the door of the fridge. We get through a lot of dairy. The kids love milk. They have porridge every single morning, so our milk goes down really quickly. So that is our dairy shelf. Next shelf down, I have just got little bits and bobs like mushrooms and some extra cheese. But what I do have are these really cool fridge drawers. So these drawers just make you use your whole fridge for storage. So instead of putting everything on the bottom shelf, it makes you use the top section too because otherwise you actually waste a lot of space in your fridge. So I will tag these below of where I got them from, just from Amazon. They're really great, they come four in a pack and for me, I love them. I store all of our cheeses in there. So I have got some Baby Bell in one, I've got some grated cheese in another and just a block of cheese in another one. So on the bottom shelf, I dedicate that purely to meat. Now, meat kind of freaks me out a bit sometimes, so I get worried that the juices will kind of come out and then drip down the back and go onto the next shelf and just contaminate everything. So if I put it on the bottom shelf, still in kind of like a carrier bag, 
my head's okay with that. Um, and then, yeah, when we, that's also something that we use really quite quickly. Otherwise, I freeze it if we're not going to use it in the next couple of days. So in this bottom drawer, I put all of our salad things. I put all the older stuff on the left-hand side and all the newer stuff on the right-hand side. So everyone in our family knows to go to the left-hand side first if they want anything. Lulu's going absolutely mad. In the door of our fridge, I've got all of our sauces, our milk, all of our kind of mustards and jams and curry pastes and obviously a little gin, random, I know. But yeah, that's what I kind of put in there. All the things that we use quite often. So when you open up the door of the fridge, they're really easily accessible. So yeah, basically that is my fridge in a nutshell. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it might seem quite strange to a lot of you who usually get my little notifications, but this was requested and I hope it's helped. And I actually quite enjoyed it weirdly. I'm actually in the middle of doing like a con marine my kitchen. So that's gonna be coming on soon. And also, obviously as I'm con marine my kitchen, I will be doing a larder storage cupboard what i do how i organize it and everything like that so thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time bye